Alright, hey guys, uh, this is Mason, and today I'm going to be doing another uh, tutorial video on uh, Sony Vegas. Uh, this is going to be um, a video, and basically I'm just going to uh, really just do the basics of the basics. Like, this video is going to be for people who, like, literally have never even, like, used Sony Vegas, or, like, never even, like, really seen it. So this is, like, the most basic video for Sony Vegas. So those are for any of the new editors that are using Sony Vegas out there. Um, so basically, here's the interface of Sony Vegas right here. You got the the video up here, which di displays the video, you know, the pre uh, view of the video right up here. And uh, basically, Sony Vegas is kind of made up of just a bunch of windows for different different things. Like up here is where you're gonna have all your media that you have imported on the timeline down here and uh... yeah here's the timeline down here and that's basically the default um, default layout and you can always go in the settings and change it around a little bit you can move the windows around you can you see you do all kinds of sort of things um, so i always like to have my preview window kind of out and i can move it around and stuff like that but that's just you know that's that's just how i do it um, so when you're starting off here basically to import media you can already have the folder open or you can just come up here and it says import and you just click on import media but I already have my folder open so I'm gonna go ahead and get a video here so here's my videos and for Sony Vegas it always does it always lets you import like all kinds of different video files and stuff but there will be certain cases like I know that uh, AVI uh, videos they don't go into Sony Vegas so you always have to change those and there's there's programs out there sometimes I uh, just go to Windows Movie Maker and just uh, edit there and then import it to MOV format but here's an MOV file so go ahead and drag the file in here into the timeline <coughs> So I dragged it in, as you can see it's loading in down here, it's building peaks. So the video is in there and you can, you know, add multiple vid multiple videos and edit them together. Um, but basically, since you imported the video in, it made two different columns. And um, as you can see, there's a movie, there's a video column, and there's an audio column. And uh, th you can do all kinds of stuff over here. Um, but basically, when for beginners, you don't really want to, you don't really need to have to mess ar mess around with anything over here. Uh, you can for video, if you want to add an effect or anything like that, then you just click on here. It says uh, event effects, so you can just click on here will pop up right here and has all kinds of different effects and here's a uh, black and white uh, you can add a border um, just all kinds of different stuff you add glow uh, you can add a mirror effect TV simulator all kinds of different effects so I'm just gonna click on one for an example say when I add black and white to our video you'll click on it just press OK and a uh, different window will pop up so now you see it's black and white you can have like the amount of black and white and it'll change right here <laughs> add it all the way to black and white and yeah that's that's an, just an example right there so let's just say yeah I want to keep that on I want to keep black and white you know just all you have to do is exit out and it's black and white and you'll see it turns to green right there kinda of showing that there's effects on the video um, another thing you can do is uh, you click on here and it's pan and crop so you'll click on here another window will pop up here <laughs> and basically it's confusing at first to learn this but basically here's the video and um, let me zoom out a little bit here It's uh it's sort of weird weird to learn. So if you just want to, you come in here a little bit, and you kind of move the window to the area you want the video to be shown in. 
so I'm zooming in a little bit here moving the window down and you'll see up here that it zooms in see say I want to zoom out then that'll just add black bars to the side of the the video but yeah that's that's basically how you do it. This, this is good this is like one of the most important things probably to learn if you want to add like pretty cool effects to the video so yeah that's just the basis I'm not gonna show anything else here I'm gonna click out of that just add those little black bars you say you want to have an effect like that some weird effect I don't know um, you can move around the video clips anywhere you want <coughs> let's see here I'm just trying to keep this video very basic um, here's one big question a lot of people want to ask say you want to separate the video and the audio um, basically what you want to do is you're going to right click on either the audio or the video just right click on the on the video right click on it and you will come down to group and you will go over to remove from and uh, they're both separated so you can move around the audio wherever you want you want to move around the video wherever you want but I don't want to do that so I'm just going to click on uh, right click again and uh, let's see here here, I gotta highlight both of them, I believe. Group, create new. So I highlight both of them, now they're both together. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, another thing you can do is it has this little. Um, if you go to the top of it, it'll say fade in. So, say you wanna have a video to fade in then you come up here and you just drag across and I'll kind of have this little thing kind of showing how it's going to fade in okay ignore that and uh, basically it'll just uh, it'll fade in so let's drag that back <coughs> say you want to trim a video you go to the very edge of it and you just drag it and it'll trim the video um, so let's see here what else can I show so say you want to split up the video you will drag your cursor to whatever spot you want and uh, say I want to trim it to like uh, right there then you'll just stay put your cursor right there and you press S on the keyboard and I clicked S and now they are split S is for split of course I'm going to split some more So there's all the videos I want to split up. Say like, oh, whoops, I didn't want to split it up there. Uh, say you want to, you don't want to take back anything that you just did. Then you just come up here, and uh, there's a little back arrow right here, and it says undo. So you can just click undo, or you can just press Control Z. But you can just click undo, and it'll undo what you just did. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So say you're done making the video. You're you're done with everything. Okay. So what you want to do is this could be a separate video showing like the different render settings that you can do. But you just come up here and you pr click file, and you first of all you you want to save it. So you click save and uh, you just click wherever you want to save at. I want to save it to the desktop so I'll just click on the desktop and uh, then you go back <coughs> and just name it anything you want that's my name Mason's video so then you just click save but I don't want to save that right now so exit out of that so you saved it and now you want to you know you want to actually uh, have the video in the, in the format <laughs> So then you're just going to click render as. Always want to render your videos. Alright, so now it's loading up here. And these are all the different. So I'm going to take this. This is what it's going to look like to you guys. Here's all the different video formats and everything. It looks very confusing at first. But for me. If you just, you know, you can look up different settings and stuff. You can look up different videos. I'll have a tutorial soon about this. But um, for me, you want to go down and you want to click on main concept. So you'll click on main concept, 
which is a, it's MP4 file, which is the basic. And you can um, you go down, and the ones you want to click on is where it says Internet. And it's good for YouTube videos and stuff like that. And uh, it just depends on how long you want to you know wanna, you want to wait and how m good quality of the videos you want to do. But I always click on Internet HD 720, and that's just what I always use. I always go 720 HD. 1080 HD depends on your computer and how much power it is, but usually it takes a lot longer to do 1080p. But I always click on um, Internet HD 720p, which is under .mp4 main concept. So yeah, so then you you would uh, you want to uncheck this. Make sure that's not checked. For that, you just like say you want to render a certain portion of the video. Then it, it it'll only let you uh, render out. You see these two little uh, markers are here. It only uh, lets you render out that part of the video. But I don't want to do that. I want to render the whole video. So you would make sure that's unchecked. So that's unchecked, and then you click on render. And rendering it depends on your um, depends on your laptop or a computer. Rendering takes a little, usually a little bit longer t than to upload to YouTube. Um, so it just depends on the effects and all like different kinds of stuff on there that, that you have on the video. <clears throat> the less effects and stuff, then the less time it takes. But yeah, that's just the basics. Uh, any questions or any further concerns about Sony Vegas, um, then go ahead and comment them. Uh, I might have missed some stuff, but I'm going to make future videos on all kinds of different stuff about Sony Vegas because I'm pretty good with it. Another thing, if you guys are watching this video, go ahead and check in the description. Go watch my main channel, United Idiots. Uh, we make pretty good videos. You know, self-advertising. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Leave comments. Thank you.